What's up long range shooters, thanks for joining. Today we're gonna go over another option for a long range target camera, as well as trying out the FPV camera that I came up with on my last video. So this simple little target camera setup consists of just using two cell phone devices with a cellular data plan, and I'm using the Google Hangouts app. Like I mentioned, anything downrange is a target, so you're gonna to wanna to protect that and don't do what I did. And I found out the hard way that iPhones aren't bulletproof at 1500 yards. So let's give these systems a try at 2,000 yards with the 6.5 Creedmoor. Well, I'll lay it out to you guys straight. Using the two cell phone devices and a FaceTime, um, it really didn't work out too well today. It was a little bit hot and the cell phone started overheating. Not to mention, I got a couple text messages that somehow cut off the camera. Thanks, Jerry1911. <laughs> Anyways, this is a previous video recording of me using this uh, system. And um, I was out at 1,500 yards. It was a little bit cooler uh, this day. I was around 95 degrees. Now, the biggest benefit to this system is the clarity and the ability to record audio and video. Hooking up the Bluetooth to my truck, I was able to hear the impacts through my speakers. And if you wanted to, you could use a Android app called Duo Recorder, which is basically a screen recorder to record all your shots and impacts. The downsides is that it's a cell phone. It requires cell phone data burns quite a bit of data in fact and like I said it's a cell phone so if you're susceptible to phone calls and text messages that may get annoying and it may cut your video streaming off but regardless this is still a pretty cool device and um, if you have ability to have Wi-Fi or basically mobile data access at your range uh, this could be a good viable solution um, but like I said today when I tried it out it didn't work out uh, too well it overheated on the phone and um, I got a couple of text messages which cut off the camera so let's try out the other camera system and see how that does impact Six o'clock. Woohoo! <laughs> so, just FYI, the resolution is in 1080p. It's around, I'd say, 480. And the little, uh, I guess, the glitching that you're seeing is interference from another Wi Fi device. Impact. Impact, same spot. Holy crap. Impact, same spot. Holy crap. Okay, I got my neighbor here. So I got two consecutive hits at 2,000 yards on shots number 9 and number 10. That's awesome. But I'm going to say that it was all luck because I did 20 shots and only managed to hit two on the plate. Even though these were only about, I'd say, three inches apart. The other hits on plate were with a 308 Thompson Center Compass. I'm trying out the camera at 1,200 yards. Now for the receiver, you can plug it into a laptop. It picks it up as a USB camera device. So you can use this device as a webcam uh, for like Google Hangouts, um, StreamYard, or anything that requires a webcam on your laptop. Or you could download a program called Debut. It's a freeware. It allows you to adjust the contrast, the tint, uh, even the sharpness. And if you wanted to, you could change to negatives, which is a good option if you're going to be shooting paper targets. When switching it to negative, you can actually see the impacts on paper really nice. Like I mentioned, I'm only trying this camera system out as of right now. There's a lot of other options out there. There's also one for a GoPro Hero 3. The transmitter plugs right into the side of it, and all you need to do is buy a 1S LiPo battery. I have a few devices coming in shortly, which I'm gonna be testing out a new camera system, hopefully with a higher resolution, as well as a GoPro Hero 3 with a transmitter. What I'm after for is the ability to transmit and receive audio and video. So I bought the upgraded version of the receiver. 
It's a ROT Geo One Pro, which is supposed to allow audio and video transmission. So guys, if you're interested in this, I highly recommend sticking around. Stay tuned for more videos coming up, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.